Hey there. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Before I get into all of the ideas I have for you, I really just want to take a moment. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a video in the midst of everything going on or if I was just going to kind of give you these ideas without addressing the situation, but I just don't want it to seem like I'm insensitive and I don't care. Um, because I do. I just want you all to know that my thoughts and prayers are with every single one of you. I'm thinking of you and I'm sending you prayers and love and I hope that we are going to really succeed at flattening the curve and kind of turning this around hopefully sooner than later and I hope that um, things can get back to normal for everybody really soon. That being said, um, there's really no reason for me to talk about anything more than that because I, I don't have any particular medical knowledge. Um, I'm just someone who is also at home with my family for who knows how long and I know that a lot of people are about to lose their ever-loving mind. So I had put together a blog post sharing 59 things that you can do while you're stuck at home bored. And I thought I should just take some time and quickly turn it into a video so I can get it out here to everybody on YouTube as well. Because I know the audiences don't necessarily overlap. If you would like to check out all of these ideas in a written form on the blog post where you can even print them out if you'd like, you can find that on my website senseandpurpose.com and I will go ahead and link it down below for you as well. I know so many people are being impacted financially. It would be great if we were all in a position that we could sit at home and shop online over the next couple weeks and buy everything our heart desires, buy ourselves a ton of things to keep us busy or keep our kids busy over the next couple weeks, but we all don't got it like that, right? So I really wanted to come up with a list of things you can do that were really cheap or completely free. Let's go ahead and jump in to the list of things to occupy your time while you're social distancing. Very first thing is to read a book. I don't know about you, but I have a ton of books that I've purchased with good intent or maybe I received as gifts and I meant to read them and I never got around to it and they're just kind of sitting collecting dust on my bookshelf. So now would be an awesome time to pull out one of those books or even all of those books and see how many of those you can get through. If you don't have a lot of extra books, go ahead and sign up for a free library app like Overdrive or Libby or my favorite, which is called Hoopla. All you need is a library card and you can sign up for a free account where you can find a ton of eBooks, audiobooks, movies, and even children's books on there where you can borrow completely free. It's also a great time to start listening to podcasts if you've never listened to podcasts before, or if you are an avid podcast listener, get out there and start searching for some new ones. Maybe some that are a little bit different than the type you usually listen to just to switch it up a bit. It's a great time to kind of binge your favorite podcast that maybe you've wanted to catch up on all the past episodes. And there's even a lot of podcasts out there available for kids. So help your kids get on the podcast app and let them find a couple that they would enjoy as well. Since we can't go to any gyms right now, it's an awesome time to do some at-home workouts. That could be just running outside, running on your treadmill, using any equipment you have in your home. If you don't have any kind of equipment at home, hop on YouTube, guys. You're gonna hear me talk about YouTube a lot throughout this video because it's such an awesome resource. If you're not a fan of YouTube workouts, a lot of other online platforms are offering free trials right now, longer free trials where you can use their platform for free. Take some time to do all of the self-care things right now. When you're finished watching this video, go ahead and check out this one that I did a few months ago, sharing all of my favorite cheap or free ways to indulge in self-care. Self care and that will give you some great ideas of ways that you can really take care of yourself. Because remember, your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Take some time to make a vision board 
what would you want to see in your life? What dreams would you like to see come to fruition? Go ahead and grab some old magazines or print some pictures offline and get your whole family involved. Everybody can sit down for an evening and make your own vision board and find a place to hang it in your home. I think that would be such an awesome way not only to pass some time, but also to do something really important with your family and will also be a great way to lift your spirits. Sit down and redo your entire budget. Just start from scratch. Act like it's the first time you've ever done a budget before. And a great idea would be to come up with two or three separate budgets. So go ahead and create what I call a bare bones budget. And that is basically cutting out any extra expenses, any additional spending right now that isn't completely necessary. Because this is such an uncertain time, it's really a good resource for you to put down on paper and see exactly how little you can live on if you have to. So go ahead, redo your budget, create a bare bones budget, and then maybe redo your normal budget and just see if anything has changed. Sometimes people kind of get in a rut with budgeting where you're really just carrying everything over from one month to the next. And I think it's a good exercise to sit down and completely start fresh and redo it. See if your priorities have changed. See if you allocate your spending differently. And if you're really on a roll, you can also go ahead and create a dream budget. So this would maybe be a budget for some time in the future if your income continues to grow or for when you become debt free and you have a lot more disposable income each month. It's a really fun way to motivate you to continue to work towards your financial goals. Of course, what do we do when we have a ton of extra time on our hands? We clean, but I know it would be boring to clean all day long. So I suggest maybe picking one or two of these cleaning activities and kind of working them in throughout your day so it doesn't feel like you're cleaning all day long, but so you're still being really productive and accomplishing something. So the first thing I think you should do is to completely purge your closet. Just get rid of all the crap that's out of style that you know you won't wear anymore or that you haven't worn in a long time. And this can also include any shoes, any handbags, belts, scarves. I know this is something so many of us have on our perpetual to-do list. And it's one of those things that always gets pushed off and pushed off because it definitely takes some time. Grab yourself a strong cup of coffee and tackle that closet. One of the things we love to do is do a big jigsaw puzzle as a family. I'm going to link some of the ones that we have down below. We go for the big ones that are like 750 or a thousand pieces and we clear off our whole dining room table. If you're able to leave it there for a while, you can kind of float in and float out and just sit down and work on the puzzle for a couple minutes and when you get bored, get up and go do something else come back to it later that day or the next day. We like doing it that way because then you're not sitting there trying to do a puzzle in 10 hours. This is a great time to try out some new recipes you've been wanting to try. Maybe you have a Pinterest board where you're always saving recipes to, but you never really get time to actually experiment and try them. So hop on Pinterest, pull up your board and try making some new recipes. I know you might be limited with what ingredients you're able to get right now, but I think it's an awesome way to pass the time. Something I love to do is create photo books online. I do this every single year using all of our families favorite pictures throughout the year. I've been doing this for years and I've used a whole bunch of different platforms. Currently, my favorite one is Mixbook. I find them to be the easiest to use right now. I will go ahead and leave a link down below for you guys where you can get a discount. And depending on what kind of book you wanna make, they can add up, but it's also possible to make them without spending a ton of money. And they definitely take a lot of time. So that would be an awesome activity to work on right now. Phone a friend. We all have people that we mean to catch up with and we just can't seem to find the time. And I know we all mean well, but sometimes we just lose touch with people. So take some time and call somebody that you haven't talked to in a long time or better yet, even FaceTime them. Create a meal plan for the entire month. I know everybody's kind of feeling a little uneasy right now. We're not sure what we're gonna find in the stores when we do go. So really making a meal plan for the next couple weeks, I think is going to give you some peace of mind and kind of make you feel more confident that you'll be able to provide good meals for your family for the next few weeks. I have done a whole video in the past where I show you my exact process for meal planning start to finish. So if you're not somebody that meal plans regularly and you're not sure where to start, you can go ahead and watch this video. I will leave the link to it down below in the description box and that's going to tell you everything that you need to know. I also have a freebie library on my website where you can join for free and print out 
anything you want in the library. I have a whole bunch of printables in there, including a meal planning printable, which will help you with this process. And I even have a full year's worth of meal plans that are already written out for you. Now they are just simple meal plans. They're nothing fancy, but if you really do have a hard time meal planning, go ahead and print those out and you'll be done in half the time. So I'm gonna leave a link for you down below where you can join my freebie library and you can access everything in there whenever you want. Something that's definitely on my to-do list is to purge all of the photos on my phone and in my Google Photos because Google Photos backs up every single day and there are just so many files in there. And taking that one step further, you can go ahead and purge any other data or documents that are taking up unnecessary space on your phone or your laptop. Something we've been enjoying is playing ping pong. I know not everybody has a ping pong table. We got one for Christmas a couple years ago. So we've been having a good time playing ping pong tournaments. But if you don't have a ping pong table, you do not have to run out and buy one. You can instead purchase a fun little kit that will actually turn any table into a ping pong table. It's super cheap. I will leave the link down below. It just comes with a net that you put across your dining room table and some paddles and ball. And that will give you tons of hours of fun. Plus you don't have to worry about the weather. Go ahead and pull out all of those old crossword books you had or word search books or Sudoku. Anything you have like that, that kind of get shoved in a cabinet and forgotten about. We've been having fun doing like word search races, my daughter and I. We have two of the same books, so we will just turn to the same page and go ahead and race each other and see who can complete it first. I'll go ahead and leave a link to some cheap ones down below in case you don't have any, but it's something that we've been having a lot of fun with. Make your favorite dessert. You can involve the kids in this if you want or just go ahead and do it yourself. I just whipped up a batch of banana chocolate chip muffins for my husband and my kids. It is a great way to pass the time and then you have something yummy to eat as well. It's springtime, so go ahead and spring clean your house. I don't know about yours, but mine really needs it. Use this time to deep clean your house and get some spring cleaning done. Open up the windows, air out the house, and get some cleaning done. How about creating some new cash envelopes? If you have envelopes that you use in your own, go ahead and make some new ones. If you don't, I will leave a link down below where you can purchase my cash envelope printable. It's only a couple bucks. You can print it over and over and over as many times as you want. We've been using them for probably about a year and a half now and they've worked really great for us. Play solitaire. If everybody in your house is getting on your nerves, find a room by yourself and just play game solitaire. Or you can even play it on your laptop or one of your devices too. Walk your dogs, get outside, get some fresh air, get some exercise, get some exercise for your pups. Everybody wins. How about tackling a DIY project? I'm sure there's something that you need to get done that you've been putting off. Maybe you have a honey do list or maybe you were going to repaint or build a birdhouse for the spring. Now's an awesome time to go ahead and work on that DIY project you've been meaning to get to. Play some board games, get out all those old games you haven't touched in forever. Either play your favorites or set a goal to play every single one that you own. How about learning a new language? We have so many different online resources now that we can use to teach ourselves a new language. I think that would be such an awesome use of your spare time. Have a family movie night or just watch your favorite movies. You can pop some popcorn, make some fun snacks, turn all the lights off, and it'll be just like you're going to a movie except you can do it in your sweats on your couch way better if you ask me. Start a blog or your own website. If there's something you've been wanting to do, something that's been on your mind, maybe you have a hobby and you'd like to start a website for it, there's a ton of free resources out there to help you if you're not sure where to start. I will go ahead and link some down below. I absolutely love blogging and maybe it could even be the start of a new career. Learning how to sew or knit could be a fun way to pass the time. I don't know how to do either. I think it would be cool to learn or even to teach your kids if you already know how. Give yourself a makeover. Now this of course is geared a little more towards women, but sit down and play with your makeup and try out some new makeup techniques or some new hairstyles you've been meaning to try. It's things like that that we don't normally get to do because we're usually in such a rush to hurry up and get ready and get where we're going. Clean out your inbox. I don't know about you, but I can't stand seeing all the little numbers next to the email app on my phone. It drives me crazy. 
take some time and clear out your entire inbox, set up some folders and organize your emails so hopefully it doesn't get so cluttered again next time. Start journaling. If you don't journal already, you can start out small, you can just use any notebook you have, or you can even jot it down in your notes app on your phone. Personally, I love keeping a gratitude journal. It can be as simple as just writing down three things you're grateful for every single day. Not only is it a good way to pass a little bit of time each day, but it's also a really wonderful and healthy habit to get started with. Have a scavenger hunt. I did this for my daughter's birthday last year and she absolutely loved it. List things to sell online. So remember when you purged your closet and found all of that stuff you don't want anymore? Now take the time, sit down and list it online to sell. My favorite places are Poshmark and Mercari. I will leave you links down below if you don't currently sell on those platforms where you can get some credits if you sign up with my referral links. You can sell without having to deal with all the crap like you deal with on Facebook Marketplace with people not showing up. Their processes are so easy and simple and makes it a much more enjoyable experience. Plus, you can make some money while you're at it. Build Legos. If your kids have any Legos at home, pull them out and start building. Plus, it's a great way to make them use their imaginations and make you use your imagination too. If you don't have any Legos at home, I'm gonna link one of those big sets down below. They're actually very reasonably priced and they are just a big bucket of all the pieces. So you can use them over and over and over and over and over and build a ton of different things with them. Also, you can look for ideas online. Did you know that you can find Lego plans online? I will leave a site down below where you can go and browse and find a whole bunch of different things you can build with Legos because they're not just fun for kids. Play catch. My son and I actually play catch all the time inside. I don't know if you know what a koosh ball is, but we have a couple koosh balls and we love just sitting there while we're watching a show and playing catch in the living room. Of course, if it's nice out, you can get outside, toss the football around, play baseball, and it's just a good way to help you move and get a little bit of exercise while you're at it. Paint, draw, color. I love those like adult coloring books or those really simple coloring books that have a lot of different patterns on. In my kids' words, they're so satisfying to color. I'll link some of them down below. You can check them out. Another thing I did was just grab this really thick book of paper that my daughter could paint on. We have some acrylic paint here. I'll link those down below too. They're very affordable. And another thing I did is have my son search online for free coloring sheets. If you just Google them, free coloring sheet and whatever you're looking for. And you'll find a whole bunch of different websites where you can just print them out for free. It's an awesome time to do some yard work. Get outside, clean up the yard, and maybe you can even get a tan while you're at it. Give yourself a manicure and pedicure. So many salons are closed right now. You can actually watch this video about how I do my own gel nails at home. I will leave the link to it down below and you can check that out. Clean your makeup brushes. Makeup brushes can get nasty, so we really should be cleaning them regularly. I simply clean mine with some water and a little bit of baby soap, and then I leave them out to dry on a towel overnight. Make some freezer meals. It would be a great idea to build up a freezer stash, make a couple meals that you can throw in your freezer for when things get really busy again and you don't have time to cook, then you'd be stocked up for a while. Meditate. Meditating is one of my favorite things to do. It really does help ground you and calm you and relax you. So it's a perfect thing for you to do right now when tensions are running so high and people are feeling so uneasy. If you haven't meditated before, you can check out YouTube and get a whole bunch of free meditations. Or there's a lot of different apps in the app store. Some are free, some are paid, and they will help you learn how to meditate and kind of guide you through the process. Try on your clothes. Once you've purged your closet, go through and try on all the things. This will give you a whole bunch of clothes that you can sell online, like we talked about a couple minutes ago. Create a budget binder. If you don't have a really good system for managing your finances, now would be the perfect time to create your own budget binder. I filmed this video last year on how I set up my budget binder. I will leave a link to that video down below and you can see exactly how it works for us and helps me manage our finances way easier. Maybe you've been wanting to start your own YouTube channel. Now is the time. Do it. Grab your phone, sit down, and film your first video. If you're sitting in your house for a while, you might get sick of looking at the same stuff. One of my favorite things to do when I'm feeling 
discontentment with my home is to kind of walk around the house and switch up some of the decor. So maybe I'll put plants in a different place or I'll take some decorative items from the living room and swap them out with some of the ones in the dining room. It sounds so simple, but it really refreshes a room and kind of gives it a whole different feel. Plus it's just fun. Have a dance party. Blast your favorite tunes and go crazy. Not only will dancing make you feel good and make you just feel happier, but it's also a great exercise. Bake your own bread, especially if you're having a hard time finding bread in the stores near you. It's so simple to bake your own bread. It tastes delicious and it will make your house smell incredible. Wash your windows. Washing my windows is my least favorite cleaning task. It's a huge pain in the butt and it takes four ever so now is the perfect time to wash your windows whether you tackle them all in one day or you do one room at a time wash your windows go for a hike the weather hasn't been too great here where we are in Pennsylvania but if you have decent weather go out for a hike it's such an awesome way to get exercise and it feels really good to be out in nature take a bubble bath Bubble baths are so relaxing and they're not just for women. Hello. Light some candles, fill the tub, grab your favorite book, and just take some time and relax. Make some tie-dye shirts. This is something we've done a couple times when we were kids and I always thought it was so fun, but it's not just for kids. You can do it as adults too. Tie-dye is really back in style right now, so you would actually get use out of the items that you make. I will go ahead and link some affordable tie-dye supplies down below, just on Amazon, so you don't even have to leave the house. Wash all your linens. This is another big job that is just not something most people like to tackle but it's a great time to just kind of pull all your drapes your curtains down grab all your comforters and give everything a really good wash dye your hair a fun color my daughter's been begging me to dye her hair but i don't want her to do it because i don't want her to ruin her hair so i found some really fun vegan dye it's really bright colors it's not harmful to your hair i'll link it down below they have a whole bunch of different colors just be careful because it does stain but it's a fun way to switch up your look and pass some time play some video games i have been playing so much old school mario 3 my son has one of the nintendos that were re-released a couple years ago and i just love playing it it just takes me back to my childhood and brings back such good memories vacuum out your car my car is disgusting if you saw my video a few weeks ago to save money on pet care you know how nasty my car is so it is a definite priority of mine to get my car vacuumed out and you should do yours too find a new show on netflix go ahead and browse netflix and find an awesome new show to watch and the last idea is to make a bucket list you can even get your kids in on the action with this one grab a sheet of paper and make a list of all the things you want to do in your life so it can be a specific bucket list like maybe for this summer all the things you want to do this summer either for yourself or as a family or it can be a true bucket list which is anything you want to do experience or accomplish in your whole life and then refer back to it often and see how many things you're able to cross off all right so those are all 59 of the cheap or free things you can do when you're bored to tears at home while you're social distancing i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it brought you maybe a couple minutes of distraction again please know that I'm thinking of you. I appreciate you. I thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And I would love if you would leave me a comment down below with some of the things that you and your family are doing to beat the boredom. Take care of yourself. Be well, be healthy. And I hope to see you back here next time. We left the room a fight once again, love. Yeah, we said some things we didn't mean, hun. I always start the fight.